A Big Sean single became one of the most important songs of the decade, and you can't stream it anywhere. Certain moments carry historical significance. Think about the times we know when New Kings emerged. When Jordan won his first ring in 92, we knew he snatched the crown from Magic and Bird. On an August night in 2013, a rapper solidified himself as the king of rap, and he didn't even need a full song to do it. He didn't even need his song to do it. That feature was delivered by none other than Kendrick Lamar. Control began with a lengthy verse from Sean before Kendrick punched in around the three minute mark. This was aggressive Kendrick. This was Jordan in the finals Kendrick. The rap game sorely lacked the aggressive swagger that defined the days of the Big Daddy Kane and Tupac eras. Kendrick brought it back. He compared himself to the Pope, the Beatles, Bob Marley, and James Bond. He referred to himself as the king of both coasts and most shockingly, listed the top names in rap before asserting that he's trying to murder them. This was Kendrick seizing the throne while simultaneously breathing new life into the kingdom he now ruled. Throw me a follow if you didn't know this. And if you did, I'll sort it for a like.